morning dear student in today's lecture we are going to learn next web form control in asp.net that is in a list box now in this web control we will learn what is a list box and which are the different properties of list box now what is a list box list box its name is indicating that we are uh, if you want to maintain uh, different list of items in a single category then we can use a list box suppose i want to select uh, one of the item from the selected category for example suppose uh, name of the cities in uh, state maharashtra state then i will list out this all the state uh, uh, cities within that particular list box and that particular city can be get selected with the help of this asp.net uh, list box web form now uh, for the single selection suppose i want to make a multiple selections that is also possible with the help of the list box suppose i want to select three to four cities uh, within a particular state then uh, that is also possible by setting one of the properties in list box now list box control it is having all the same property web standard properties just like any another that we have learned in a text box label and the button control Uh, just like enabling property visible property tab and text property access key property setting the colors property uh, four color back color uh, as well as uh, uh, it's a text color text uh, style property so all the same properties we can assign with this list box another feature that uh, main that we are listing the items so as we are listing the items we uh, may want to uh, list out how many items are there in this list box that we want to count suppose we want to find out a particular item which is present in that uh, list box at a particular index so it is just we can thought as in a uh, collection of that particular item so if i want to retrieve a particular item from index number 2 index number 3 so index number normally it start just like an array with a zero number so zero means that is your item number 1 uh, two means item number 3 uh, one means item number 2 for example here you can see this is in a list box view a b c p q r now uh, these are the list items and these list items starting from the index as a zero so a b c will be having index as a zero PQR index one, M N O index two, and X Y Z index three, and so on. So now suppose we want to count number of items that is possible uh, with count method. Then we want to build, uh, select a value. Then it is also possible. Uh, we will see one simple example uh, with the web form two already we have designed. So here uh, I have dragged the list box. So from where we will get this list box? Just we have to go to the properties. So click. here and this is these are the properties so you will see and the properties over here uh, access key you know this is an access key uh, suppose we want to uh, access this item with this suppose uh, small i then in the web browser just what you have to press alt and i key then automatically control will transfer to this uh, list box tab index you can decide that on the web browser what should be the sequence of uh, that particular uh, web form control to be get access uh, the color that you know behavior that enable whether you it want it should be enabled or not enabled means you can edit something you can access that data uh, that is use of enabling the content Uh, tool tip it will give the information what exactly it contains so that uh, that is a kind of help information for the user Uh, data. If suppose we are binding it with some data, uh, then uh, uh, it will be useful that ID that is required, identification number, text field, which are the format string, data value. All these uh, things we will learn in the coming chapters uh, where we will deal with the ADO.NET. And uh, height and the width. It will specify the height and the width that we can increase or minimize as per our number of list items. now here when you drag that particular list box then you will find out uh, there is one arrow and just click on this one when we click it just uh, see here uh, so you click on this arrow here you can choose data source so uh, if suppose you are having a data base then you can choose from the data source now currently uh, we will think about edit items so go to the edit items 
now here already i have edited these items so i added the items cola food karad you can see here uh, you can add the item text i have written over here to the right side now the value kolapur has been taken as it is so i can change it the value on uh, kolapur value suppose 1 so you can change value to anything and this value can be get it with the help of c sharp coding program suppose i want to add another city so see here the list item is given here uh, write down the proper text suppose pune nashik and um, next city we can take as a suppose sangli so you can see here automatically the value has been uh, same as in a text sangli so in this way you can add the list item say okay if i want to remove uh, this one nashik then just click on this one this item and remove and say okay so in this way you are uh, this list box get appear and suppose i want to add another list box then just go view tool box go in toolbox okay so from toolbox just drag this list box okay first of all it will look like this one unbound so we haven't put any data over here just click here one box you will see at the right side with the arrow symbol just click on it and go to the edit item and you can add suppose my list items uh, if i want to list the classes suppose fyit this is the first one add syit add and tyit and okay so see uh, the next list box has been here and you can set the other properties like uh, any another web standard controls mm. just click here and you will get the properties appearance behavior uh, data data right now we are not dealing with that one so data source id so this is these are the properties uh, now along with that suppose we want to uh, do the selection yes i wanted to tell you one thing uh, selection here one that is another important property yes single uh, selection mode you will find one property as in a selection mode go there and suppose i want to make it as in a multiple so when you run the program in the browser uh, here uh, you can select that item multiple items at a time now here uh, in this case we have keep it as in a single so it will be act as in a single item suppose we run this program let's see the output and uh, here you can see uh, this one suppose uh, by default is single selection and suppose i want to make it as in a two selections three selections so press control key and then click on that item so number of items will be get selected another list box we have created that is a tyit and even though i pressed the control key over here and i'm switching to another list item but i can select only a single item so that is a difference in the selection mode if we are selecting if we want to select multiple items then in properties of uh, this list box make the selection mode as in a multiple and when you want to select it just press a control key and then uh, these different selections now uh, this is just we have created a list box but we haven't uh, control or we haven't Are written any code behind it, so uh, use it will be used when we are using some buttons and we are operating this list box. We are accessing some values from the list box, and we have to write some code behind a button. Just like suppose I want to retrieve the index number, uh, any of the index number 
value index number 0 index number 1 then that code we have to write down so we have to learn some methods behind it so let's see some theoretical part okay so these are some methods that we are going to learn uh, now list box 1 uh, that is the name of that particular list box id of list box and uh, items means these are the number of items so list box 1 dot items that we will, we are going to use to access the different methods so uh, count it will return the number of total number of items which are present in the list box another method that suppose i want to add some item uh, through the ui through the button that, that is possible uh, with the help of that add an item name we have to write down at the back end uh, to the coding part so uh, that will be your static one once you have provided that item name into the add so that particular same item will be get added into your list box the next one uh, suppose we want to insert an item at a particular index uh, position then you have to provide the index number and then item name so with the insert method now uh, you can insert any item and with the add method uh, you can add the item at the end then uh, suppose uh, you want to remove the item then uh, write down the remove method and the item name that particular item will be get removed suppose you want to remove an item at particular index index means listen index these are the numbers are given uh, to that particular um, list items and it is starting from the zero just like an array indexing so remove add suppose i want to remove add item number uh, index number four then that index number four item can be removed with the help of remove add function uh, method the next one clear i want to clear all the content all the items uh, from the list box then just write down list box uh, id dot items uh, dot clear it will clear all the data then uh, i want to retry uh, suppose i have selected one uh, item and just i want to display what i have selected um, through some message then uh, you can use selected item dot text and with the help of this list box one uh, i want to retry the value of that text uh, suppose i have given different values for the text then uh, write down this box one dot selected value and assign that one to any label and display that label into the browser that we are going to see in the next program of list box uh, then list box uh, dot this box one dot selected index just like a selected value uh, it will give the selected index at two which index you have selected zero one two three four Suppose we have connected to the data source, then uh, it is for the list box one and data source. Data set will be given, uh, data text field, uh, and data value. So, say just like the text and the value that we have seen over here, the text and the value for list items. Uh, data bind, it will bind to that data. So, we'll see the example uh, how to run it. I will show just UI part right now. And in next video, we will see uh, how exactly it runs and it's a coding part. So, listbox webform dot uh, space. This is a program, and uh, this is a UI part. So, this uh, listbox, listbox one. Uh, this is an listbox, and these are the buttons. Now, behind this every button, there is a code is written. So counting, count, it will count, selected text, it will select the text, select value, index, clear, you can add item, remove item, you can insert item at a particular index, you can remove item at a particular index. So in next video, we will see about it. So right now we learned about basic of uh, this list box, properties of list box, uh, how to make a selection mode as in a um, single mode or it can be as in a double mode. So we will stop here and in next video we will learn the different examples of list box with its coding part. Thank you.